All right, so this PC power supply, I want it to work for my RepRap. This is kind of a mess, so I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. So you know this green wire, if you short it to the black wire using a metal clip, and then you turn it on, power supply will start running. If you pull this jumper out, it shuts the power supply down. So we're going to want to jumper this green wire to black inside. So let's go ahead and power this down. Obviously don't do this at home. It's dangerous. Stay out of here. If you're a poor unfortunate soul that decided, hey, I'm just going to use a PC power supply instead of just buying a 12 volt power supply, which, by the way, you can get a 20 amp power supply on eBay for about as much as you can get these, and kind of a little more straightforward to just do that. So, anywho, we have a mess here. These wires are not big enough to, to handle the current that we need. We need to be able to handle 15 to 20 uh, amps. This is number 20 gauge. It is not not good enough. So in theory you could, you know, there's about a bazillion black wires. You could just take them all and splice them all together, but um, that's not actually how you're supposed to do things. By the National Electric Code they say that that's a bad idea to use multiple conductors in lieu of a bigger one. So I have some 12 gauge wire stranded. Um, it's all the same color so I taped some for black. Alright as you can see all of the yellow wires are 12 volts. Black wires are ground. 5 volts. 3.3. We don't need half of these wires so this is a 3.3 volt here. All the 3.3s can go. All the 5 volts can go. Uh, blue wires, negative 12 volts, don't need that one. I am going to leave this green one. This is what powers the uh, power supply on. We're going to have to tie that to ground. Purple and gray, we can get rid of those. So in theory, you could cut these wires take the board out, solder your new wires in. However, I just blew the power supply up somehow doing that, so I'm just gonna cut these. Then we'll just use a big wire net. We'll go ahead and connect green to black, and that'll keep our power supply powered on. So mine does have a 12 volt 1 and a 12 volt 2, which I guess in the old days these were separate 12 volt supplies, but on mine they're just tied together, so if they are separate, I'm not sure, you, you might not want to tie them together.